Okay. Uh, so shall I start or we'll wait for some time? Sir, we'll wait for just two, three minutes, sir. Okay. Because of the okay. problem, all of uh, the meeting got ended. No, sir. We'll just wait for two, three minutes, sir. Okay. Okay, sure. No problem. Thank you very much, sir. Mani, sir? Yeah, yes, sir, I'm here. Well, okay, sir, uh, shall we start right now, sir? Yes, yes, no shoes, no shoes, because see, I think you're waiting for the participant. Okay, uh, okay. no problem, no problem. Let's start, sir. Okay. Uh, okay, sir, you can proceed right now. Okay, perfect. So, thank you, thank you so much, uh, the college and department of uh, this Shiram Institute of Technologies for inviting me for this webinar. So, uh, uh, so let me introduce myself. My name is Dr. Manish Jain. I am the part of technical uh, consultant and technical training team. So today I will take the session for this predictive uh, modeling based on data analysis with the Python and machine learning techniques. So the thing is that, you know, we are, uh, so here we have a lot of things uh, inside the implementation of predictive modeling and uh, so many things guys. So now here you can see that this is what about my profile. So here, uh, that is my website. If you want to know more about me, you can, you can, you know, the browse my website, so you will get more information. So now here we are starting the topic guys. So the topic is that, you know, the predictive modeling. So what is that? So the meaning is that we do have a lot of database in the world. We do are having so many types of database. We are having a database from Amazon. We have database from Flickr. We have database from the COVID-19. So whatever database we are having, so the thing is that how to convert a database in meaningful output. So that is what we are doing with the help of this modeling technique. So initially we are doing something called... Yeah, so initially we are doing the data preview processing, then we are creating the model with the help of the database. And finally, we are doing some types of prediction. So the meaning is that anyways, whatever task you want to perform, you should have a database. So once you have a database, you can perform the multiple operation on this. So what actually we are doing with the help of these modeling techniques. So total, we are having four types of question. The question one means we are going from, you know, beginning to ending that is called top to bottom approach. Number one, if I'm having some database. So initially the thing is that what happened? So here we are doing some type of descriptive analytics as well. Example is that suppose I'm having COVID-19 database from all over the India, from the state wise, from the hospital wise, from the doctor wise. 
so number one i will check what happened here the meaning is that i will go more inside of database so that is called descriptive analytics over on that so here we have taken the database and we are doing some processing for the information on that data set number one why did it happen so here we are doing more depth inside that the meaning is that we are performing the algo call supervised unsupervised model and we are doing more diagnosis analytics inside that then number one what will happen so here we are doing something called the predictive analytics the meaning is that we are doing some prediction on that means what will happen if i'm having something like this so what is the outcome we are getting from here so that is what we are doing by this way and the next one is that how can we make it happen so means here we are doing some more advanced analysis with the help of deep layer model so the meaning is that we are performing different types of analysis but again the main core thing is that we should have a database for that so actually how we can implement how we can do that that is pretty simple we have a programming called python programming we have r programming we have matlab so with the help of any of the programming we can perform all these question in very simple way so guys few days back you know i did a, i did the same thing for this fake news prediction so i have taken a database from different website i have taken a database from different url different source different media then i did some prediction model on that the meaning is that if suppose we got a news in the whatsapp account like a image so from the image what is the inside pixels inside operation we are having whether somebody has modified or not so guys here i took the information from a uh, reverse image a tool from the google so once you upload the image to that tool then google will tell you what is the originality of that image so the same thing we can do something with the help of predictive modeling as well so here you need to be keep one thing in your mind so if you want to do some research on this or if you want to develop any project on this so always we have to be follow these model for the implementation so guys only this technique is not enough for the final implementation always we have to be check from where we are collecting the data set for this operation number one so always we have taken a database from iot or iot thing so the meaning is that in the iot we do have a lot of sensors so with the help of these sensor value we are keeping the real time database once i will get a database then with the help of machine learning with the help of technique i can do some more prediction on this so guys i did a one project for this model so what is my project is that like suppose if you wanted to go inside of mall or inside of any center so in the main gate there is one one pune who will do some temperature checking for your body so they have you know the the temperature gun machine through which they are doing some analysis so what happened where we are having more crowd how we can do that so in my project i i develop a drone in the drone i put a one camera and i put one iot sensor that is called raspberry pi along with the some sensors so whenever i am flying that drone inside the crowded area so drone automatically capture your temperature drone automatically capture your temperature and whenever the drone is feeling that your temperature is not up to the mark so automatically they will send your image to the healthcare department and automatically the healthcare department will analyze your face with the help of their uh, uh, database like in india we are having uid if you talk about dubai so they are having emirates id so that is what they are doing with the help of iot now what is the role of predictive modeling here the modeling technique is that with the help of iot i can get the database but with the help of these modeling techniques we are doing some real time prediction we are doing some real time forecasting and real time analysis as well so before analyzing anything we should know that what are things we are having for collecting the database so that is the one thing we have for the iot yeah second one we have a cloud computing so what is the role of cloud computing for this modeling technique so whatever database is coming from the iot and whatever operation we are doing with the help of machine learning so we need to be keep it in a one place so that place we have taken with the help of cloud computing model so here we can use public private hybrid any of the cloud model next one we have the big data so the meaning is that whatever database we are getting from iot and database which we are keeping over the cloud so what actually we can do so now here we are doing some analysis we are doing some techniques and we are doing some implementation for the predictive modeling so guys now here the i am going toward the topic called nlp nlp is called natural language processing so means in this area we are talking about more into these analysis part so here we can discuss about machine learning we can discuss about nlp we can discuss about different modeling techniques so that is what we are implementing by this way so total we are having three concept here so guys the main thing is that data analysis and data science 
so many people they are having confusion so what is the actual difference between science and analysis so guys let me take a very simple example so you will get all the difference uh, in a very clear way suppose today i upload a picture in my facebook account and i receive 100 plus likes 100 plus comment so what i will do i will frame thousand of the question and i can solve the questions with the help of python or with the help of machine learning the meaning is that i can write a question how many likes how many comment number one somebody who likes my picture whether he or she has given me comment or not something in that way so i can make multiple you know multiple questions as well so that is what i am doing simple data analysis operation second one in data science i am doing the same analysis but along with some prediction techniques so means in data science i am doing data analysis but along with ai machine learning and deep learning model so what is the ai what is the ml what is the dl so guys now here suppose i am having 1000 images of elephant and i am having one machine so when i show that image to the machine then machine knows very well this is called elephant second image then machine again machine knows this is called elephant so in this way machine knows very well about this elephant image tomorrow what happened machine got an image of uh, tiger then machine confused because machine is having only the images of the elephant so in that case machine will use their own intelligence and machine can identify no this is not the uh, elephant but what is that i am not aware about it so in that case in that case we can uh, give a more database more sample to the machine so the machine can also in their way so guys simple meaning is that with the help of uh, uh, machine learning machine is learning with the help of pattern and with the help of ai machine is trying to do something from their self so how things are happening guys like in the human body we have the human brain in the brain we are having something called neurons so when you are touch any product which is the hot the neurons is working in that way if you if you feel about anything so the neurons is going in that way so this is what the difference we are having between the ai and machine learning so now ai is only the concept ai is the big umbrella but how we can implement with the help of machine learning and deep learning concept so the question is that what is the difference than machine learning and deep learning guys simple thing is that in machine learning we are doing the same thing with the multiple times neural network operations so why we are doing multiple times because in the first time i am not getting that much of accuracy so again i have to be add some for me here i need to be remove some feature then again i am trying the same thing so until less i will achieve my output i am going to work this machine learning concept but deep learning is saying that no don't do all these things you can give a database no need to do for data pre processing i will convert your database with the multiple layer with the help of cnn with the help of rnn and finally you will get the output so means whatever maximum accuracy the maximum output you are getting this is the least one so this is what the difference we are having ml as well as dl so guys nowadays whatever application we are having from the cloud or from the google or from any of the company so everywhere they are following that deep learning model next one we have the rpa devops and blockchain so guys these things we can implement for the different different purpose rpa we can use for the automation of work so whatever task we are doing with the machine learning if you want to perform the same task again and again again and again then go with the rpa model so this is what the benefit we are having devops means suppose you are developing a complete solution with the help of machine learning or with the help of these modeling techniques so always we have to be concentrated for front end back end so if you are doing the both the things separately so probably it will take much more time so guys with the help of uh, devops i will develop the something and i can make the database automatically on the same place this is what the benefit we are getting here the last one we have the blockchain so blockchain we are implementing for security and transparency so blockchain is not only for the security blockchain more for the transparency operations like here whatever machine learning techniques i am implementing with the help of python programming i need to provide some types of security otherwise if somebody will modify some of the parameter so probably i will not get that much of accuracy so through which we are doing some operation with the blockchain solution so guys the meaning is that the meaning is that if you wanted to perform any project on this topic like if you want to create a project or if you want to do any research on this topic so always you have to be follow these technologies okay so if you are talking about only python so this is called a programming if you are talking about machine learning that is a technique 
but if you're talking about the complete solution so always use these technologies here so the meaning is that emerging technologies for predictive modeling so if you want to develop anything always follow these thing guys now let me show you some real time example what actually you can do with the help of these technologies here so guys i do have very good examples here let me let me show with you so hopefully you will get more idea of what i'm trying to say uh give me a moment let me show you yeah so as you can see this example this is the real time implementation of predictive modeling with the emerging technologies so here i am using iot i am using cloud computing i am using python programming and i am using different machine learning supervised and unsupervised modeling and we develop with the help of python programming so guys now here you can see that with the help of iot i can take your face so initially once you join the college we will not take any 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 basic document uh we will uh, we will do all these identification with the help of face so in this way no need to take the manual attendance machine can take the attendance automatically so now here i can check how many boys in the class how many girls in the class activity level means what actually they are doing in the class and the next one we have something called sentimental analysis that is the one part of nlp which one we are using for ml operations means how many are happy how many are unhappy how many are confused in the class so guys as a teacher our duty do is that everybody should be happy in the class so how i can change the lesson plan basis on the facial expression so this is what we can perform the operation here so now here uh, this is what we are getting with the help of nlp with the help of python programming but from where we are getting the real time database that is what my point is so always we are collecting the real time database with the help of iot with the help of sensor with the help of server with the help of storage so this is what is the example we do have so now here the activity is not only for the student we can track each and everything for teacher as well we can track everything for the uh, class as well so means here we are having limited questions if you want you can write multiple questions so like immediately suppose my training is starting around 12 o'clock so automatically in the 12 o'clock the machine can take the attendance if anyone is the absent for that session so his or her father or mom will get a message automatically that your son or daughter is absent for this lecture and along with that the teacher also got a message that you know this is happening here how we are doing this thing with the help of predictive modeling how we are doing something with the help of python programming and what is the logic in the back end this is called machine learning like supervised unsupervised and reinforcement types of learning so guys let me show you the complete video so you will get more idea that is hardly one minute video so here we are tracking the same thing for the student as well as the teacher So now here you can see that we are tracking the activity for teacher as well the timing the date the interaction in the class the activity the present or not present so things are happening on the real time So now teacher is not present you can see the interaction level you can check the activity now when she will back you can change the value so guys you can see that 36.72 but again the introduction is zero so this is what this is what the meaning we have this is what the benefit we are having with the help of these modeling technique i think that is clear to you guys so we do have a lot of examples so i will i will explain you the step by step okay so next one we are starting with the today's topic so topic is that text mining as well as the nlp so guys the meaning is that whatever operation we are performing on machine learning so total in the machine learning we are having three layers of the project layer one means we are processing a database which contain the numerical value numerical means i am talking about integer float double anything numerical means numerical second one we are doing some processing for a database which contain the images so that is what we are doing with the help of open cv or we are doing with the help of image processing next one we are having a database which contain the text as well as the string value so that is what we can handle with the help of text mining as well as the nlp operations so guys nlp means natural language processing 
so like how human is speaking how human is thinking how human is observing on the same thing we are giving to the machine so machine can analyze automatically like guys as a human we are having some feelings feelings means which is good which is not good on the same way we are giving the instruction to the machine so machine can observe that uh, whether something is good or not good like we have the sentimental analysis so these are the examples we are having here so guys now here you can see that we do have different types of languages in the world like you know we are having different languages so like specifically if you talk about the india so in india we are having huge the huge volume of the language so even though for a specific state also we are having different types of mother tongue or different types of pronunciation depend upon the area wise okay so this is what the difference we do have here so guys the meaning is that whatever languages we are having here through which we are performing some types of sentence the meaning is that if i want to be speak something in the english english means which english english means i am talking about uk or us or any of the english where we have in the back end of the indian accent so the meaning is that we have to be frame the sentence so guys when you are framing the sentence always that is coming with the grammatical rule without the rule you cannot perform the operation the meaning is that if i am saying that i wanted to drink the water so before the water what are the conjunction what is the pronunciation i am going to use so that is what the rules and regulations we are getting for nlp and all these uh, rules and regulation is coming from the grammar way so guys every language having their own grammar so if you know the grammar you can speak perfectly into that language so this is this is what is happening guys if we talk about computer programming if i'm talking about the python programming in the python we are having keyboard we are having you know the curly braces we are having comment so all these the small small component from the python programming is called the grammatical rule from that python so if you follow that rule the meaning is that you can write your things perfectly with the help of python code so this is what is happening guys now in the 21st century we are having different types of database so our uh, different types means we are having three categories of database that is called structured semi structured as well as the unstructured so guys if i am having a database which is the structured one easily we can handle not in issues but if we are having database which is the semi structured or unstructured how to handle that is the big problem for us so uh, this one we can handle with the help of nlp or different with the help of different tools as well so through which we can observe what is my customer is looking out exactly so guys whatever database we are getting from the text database so we can perform with the help of text mining so normally the text mining or text analytics is a process of driving the meaningful information from the nlp so guys the meaning is that suppose i am having a book call programming in c from e balagrusomi okay so from overall book i need to be perform different operation operation means number 1 i can go for the word count like total word in that book number 2 i can go for the frequency count number 3 i can go for the space count number 4 i can go for the character count number 5 i will go for the word which is coming more than 3 times in a one row so guys the meaning is that we can from thousand of the questions and we can perform the operation with the help of text mining so here mining means we have to be retrieve some database and analytics means we have to be perform some meaningful operation on that database so this is what we are doing with the help of nlp with the help of text mining process now guys next one is that what is the relation between text mining and nlp so normally the text mining refer to the process of driving the high quality information from the text but here the nlp is saying that if you want to go in depth analysis on that so we are doing some operation with the help of nlp okay so guys let me tell you some real time example so you will get more idea of what i am trying to say here so guys let me show you this example this is the example is from the uh, 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 this example is from the uh, deep learning as well as the nlp so what is the meaning guys let me tell you see now if you go to market so every product or every component or every item is coming with a something called ingredient okay so now like suppose if you want to purchase a biscuits or any chocolate from the market so that is coming with the ingredient so now here with the help of nlp with the help of nlp and with the help of deep learning we can develop the model where the machine can identify the columns where we have the something called ingredient number 1 this is called text mining means from the box i am selecting only the database which contain that keyword number 
Number two is that with the help of deep learning, with the help of machine learning, with the help of predictive modeling, I want to identify whether that item is good or not. Because sometimes when you when you buy something from the market, we don't know what is happening inside that. But now because of COVID-19, we should know that what is the inside of this. So guys, that is the perfect example for NLP, text mining, IoT, as well as the different types of operation from emerging technologies model. Now let me show you what is that. So you can see that first I can open this scanning options in my uh, camera. So the machine can scan the complete ingredient. So you can see that machine is scanning the thing. So here the rule is that I want to check the component, the product from that one. So guys, like how we are doing something called number plate detection. Same thing here we are doing for the ingredient. So ingredient we have detected here. So like here, I want something with the NLP. NLP means whether something is good or not good for the human body. So we are defining something with the emojis. Now you can see that we are having total 11 items. So like can sugar is unhealthy. You can see the emoji. Okay, now uh, next one we have something called non-hydrogenic palm oil something in that way lemon oil yes we have this one so guys the meaning is that machine can contain the information from the google but initially we are retrieving something with the help of text mining and with the help of nlp so this is what the example we are having here guys and that is what we can implement for more research and the operation purpose and this is the actual relation between text mining as well as the nlp operations so guys if you talk about the actual definition of NLP is the part of computer science and AI which deal with the human language. So guys, whatever languages we are having, if you want to convert it that way, always go with the NLP. So we do have very good example of NLP is called Google Translator. So if you're not aware about any program, you can open the translator, you can scan that keyword and the machine will tell you what is the meaning of these keyword into that place. So how that is coming with the help of NLP. Now guys, I have implemented one NLP operation into one company in Dubai that is called Itislat. So like in India, we have the BSNL. On the same way, Itislat is the one company, one telecom company in Dubai. So guys, what are the implementation I have done? So the meaning is that we did something for the NLP. So like, you know, whenever somebody will make a call to the customer care, and suppose he did some discharge of some amount and he is not getting the proper internet. So he raised a call to the customer care. So there, what happened? They have only two options. Either you can speak in the in the in the in their Arabic language, or you can speak only in the English. And somebody who is not comfortable to speak in the English. So how things are happening? So the meaning is that he cannot communicate properly, and he cannot explain his problem uh, uh, easily way. So guys, we develop one NLP with the chatbot. Chatbot means initially, once you make a call to the customer care, from the back end, they will check you're from which location. Like suppose because anyways they have the ID proof. Okay, so like suppose you're from India, from India you're from this place. So in this place they will start speaking into that language. Means they will start speaking into the mother tongue who are speaking from the back end, from the chatbot side. So means the user is very happy because he's doing some communication in the local language and abroad. So guys, that is what we have developed for the chatbot with the help of NLP. And that is the amazing thing for that. Okay, that is the one option. Number two is that if somebody who did some, some recharge for some amount and he is very angry, he is very now he is making call to the customer care. So from the backend side, chatbot will analysis your tone. Tone means you are angry, you are not angry, you are happy or not happy. And accordingly, they will change the frame. So guys, that is what we can implement with the help of NLP operations. And that is what the actual use of NLP in the world. So guys here, what is the basic structure of the NLP application? So initially we are having data collection. So we can take database from the different uh, devices, different tool, like we can database from WhatsApp, from LinkedIn, from Facebook or the multiple tools. And we are implementing with the help of NLP layer. And finally we are converting with the knowledge base as well as the data storage model. So guys, number one is that. So once I use the NLP layer, so automatically it will convert the meaningful output. 
and basis on that it will store in the database and something which is not important this will not store into the data set so guys always they're looking out for the database which is important for them so this is what the structure we are having for nlp applications here so if you talk about more application for nlp so we are having sentimental analysis we do have chatbot we do have a speech recognition and machine translation so sentimental analysis is very common thing but the thing is that how we can implement the sentimental with the help of different types of uh, application so guys now here i am having very good example of sentimental let me show you so you can see that here uh, we are having some you know, the communication from three different personality like here we are having this one so you can see that whenever he is speaking something as for the facial expression uh, he is angry here disgusted activation this function neutral happy surprise angry so machine will give you all the types of value guys we will have no choice but to totally destroy oh, here you can see the North Korea. Value. Well, how do you sustain a business model in which users don't pay for your service? Senator, we run out. Yes. So guys, now here we can analyze that how many times the person is happy or unhappy, how many times he is neutral, or we can go with the, some speech recognition or these techniques. Same thing we are doing for the machine translation as well. So these are a few examples for NLP. Next one, we are doing something called the spell checking. Like we have the Grammarly tool. With the help of Grammarly tool, it will check the spelling automatically. Information extraction, if you want to contain information from the Google. So like uh, guys, before implementing anything for the predictive modeling, we should have a database. So we can take the database from the uh, sensor or we can take database from the Google. So always we are following some library called beautiful so so that is what is happening here from the python programming that is what we can implement it here next one we have something called keyword search and we are having advertisement matching so guys all the user will not get the same types of discount from amazon.in everybody will get the different types of discount depend upon their capability depend upon the capacity depend upon the users so all these application we have seen for the nlp as well as the text mining implementation and guys, believe on me, that is that is really very much important for everyone. Uh, next one, we are having some component of the NLP. Like, what are the components we do have? So, guys, we do have a component called you know the mapping input to the useful presentation, analyzing different aspect of the language. We have text planning, sentence planning, text realization. All these things we do have. So, we can implement all these things if you want to do something with the help of Python programming. So guys, for implementation of NLP in Python, so we do have different types of packages. Like we are having NLTK packages, we are having a speech recognition package. So in this way, we are having approximate 7,000 packages, which is performing the operation only for NLP. And if you talk about the overall packages in Python programming, so we are having more than one lakh plus. So guys, the meaning is that whatever operation you wanted to perform, you can perform with the help of these value. So all these component benefit we are getting from here itself. Uh, next one, we are having some component here. So guys, initially we have something called NLP ambiguity. Ambiguity means suppose we are having a keyword and how we are speaking that keyword and probably they are giving up with the common meaning of that keyword. That is called the ambiguity into the keyword. Like suppose if you are trying to say something, if somebody will get a different meaning, then what is the meaning of that sentence? So this is what the meaning of ambiguity in the NLP. So guys, now here you can see that we are having called lexical ambiguity. So means if a word having the uh, different meaning, so one word having a different different types of meanings, this is called lexical ambiguity, like we have a chip. So the chip we can use, like chip is a small piece of wood, again we can use a chip. Second is that a long term piece of the potato that is called the chips, the small piece of silicon, the meaning is that uh, in the lexical ambiguity means we do have a keyword and we are speaking in a multiple way. So that is called the lexical ambiguity. Second, we have something called structure ambiguity. So now here, if I am saying something, so probably that thing will contain multiple meanings. Like here, visiting relatives can cause problem. So the meaning is that relatives who visit us can cause a problem or when we visit a relative, there will be a problem. So guys, the meaning is that we are saying a sentence which contains some different types of meanings as well. So this is called structure ambiguity. Next one, we have something called, you know, this, uh, the referential ambiguity. The meaning is that if I'm giving some sentence, 
so probably it will generate some more question from the sentence the meaning is that i am buying a drink for everybody here so one drink for all or one drink for each so the meaning is that the again question will come again machine will confuse what is the meaning of this line next one i wanted to buy the newspaper so means which newspaper or you want to go for the specific newspaper as well so all these the part of ambiguity in the nlp operations so guys that is what we have discussed here next one we have something called the tokenization tokenization in nlp means whatever whatever database we are having so how we can convert the same thing with the different types of tokens here so now here the tokens means like we have the keyword call or we have a sentence call tokenization is the first step in nlp so that is the one keyword we are having here so i will convert in the multiple token or multiple cluster you can see that now here we have this value yeah so here we can convert tokenization is the first step in the nlp so guys we are having three different types of value in the tokenization that is called bigram trigram as well as the ngram so bigram means where we have taken the two consecutive the word and the trigram we are talking about the three keyword ngram means we can take any number of keyword over there so you can see that in the unigram we are having a simple clustering operation so we do have here like you know this is the big data ai book that is called unigram in bigram means i will click i will take two values from each so this is is big big data data ai and book so this is what is happening guys here in the trigram we will take that three keyword so we have something called this is big is big data big data ai and finally we have data ai book so guys the meaning is that uh, initially we have a keyword we have a sentence so we have to go with the tokenization and finally we are converting via this way so this is what we have unigram bigram as well as the trigram options next one we are talking about uh, steaming so guys the meaning is the steaming and lexical these are the two keyword here in the nlp so here steam the steaming or steam the meaning is that how we can find the root keyword from the multiple word like here we have affections we have affect we have affections affected affection or affecting so like here we have multiple keyword here so which is the common keyword from all the values so this is called the affect so this is what the meaning we have the streaming now here second one we have the lima operation that is called limnization so lima means we are doing the same thing but the lima will contain some meaning on this so guys now you can see in the last one we have a keyword called gone and going so what is the output we got something called go so the meaning is that for the lima the operation should have some types of meaning on it so guys now here the difference is that in the streaming we are talking about the word which represent any of the meaning but in the lima this should have some types of meaning now streaming will take less time but here the lima will take more time so the use case is that the streaming we can use for spam detection but uh, lima we can use for the question answering application where the value should have some types of meaning so guys you can see that if we are having original call visibilities so in the streams we have visible but in the limitize we have visibility so guys the meaning is that in the streaming there should be no meaning of the keyword but in the lima it should have some types of meaning so this is what the difference we are having here in the place that is called morphology for streaming as well as limitization so guys now here next one we have something called the stop word so what is the stop word in the nlp the stop word means the word which contains some meaning but actually that is not required for the final analysis on the predictive modeling so guys now here i be our yourself himself it their who so all these things so all these keyword are required to frame the sentence but actually if you talk about the grammatical rules so that is called the stop word and the stop word we cannot process for the final operation on the database so that is called the stop word we are having here for the nlp next one we have pos pos means we are talking about something called part of speech so guys whatever database we are having and whatever operation we are performing on the text database so always we have to be check the pos pos means like suppose if i am taking a keyword where i am saying that you are a good guy so the meaning is that which is the noun which is the pronoun which is the count 
and accordingly we are following the rule of pos that is called the part of speech so guys i i make sure that uh, in the class time in the in the in the school time probably you gone through all these pos into the english grammar rule so the same thing we are implementing here but only the few implementation part having some difference in the way so we like here we have noun adverb verb adjective preposition conjunction pronoun interjection so all these things we are using for nlp for creating the modeling techniques okay this is what is happening here now here we have different types of tag and description for the values so guys like here i am saying that the dog killed the bat so this is what the sentence we are having so here the means we have dt what is the meaning of dt then the dt is called you can see that here we have something called dt so dt 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 yeah so dt called determiner so this is what the meaning we have so guys on the same way every word having some different types of meanings here so once you have a meaning you can go for it so like here so we have something called da so da means we have determined same thing we are having in the next one second we have nn this is called the noun vbo means that is called the verb objective then we have nn for the noun so guys this is what is coming with the help of nlp operations like sometimes i want to perform the uh, role i want to perform the application where machine can speak as for the time frame machine can speak as for the data value so always we are going with the pos operations here in the place so this is what the benefit we are having here so next one we are having ner ner in nlp means what is the name entry recognition so whatever sentence i am talking about so whether i am speak any place name any user name any word name any building name or or any operations we can performing here so guys now here you can see that if i if i tell you one example so we have example called the google ceo so the which i introduced the new pixel ad in this place roy center event so like from the whole keyword from the whole keyword what is the location what is the person what is the organization so now here organization means we have google okay the person means i'm talking about from the which i location means we have this location you know sir and the organization means we have something called the event so means that event is happening into that location over on that this user so all these operations we are performing with the help of ner that is called named entry recognition and this is what the applications we are having guys here next one we have the syntax so in the nlp if you want to perform some syntax some operations so we are having these operations here so always we have to be check like in the sentence whatever things we are having so now here if i am having the cat set on the mat so da means we have the article cat means we have the noun so this is called noun phrases second we have the verb so means this is called the set is called the verb then preposition means we have on article means da noun means mat so once i make the combination of all these graphics so i will get the output automatically <coughs> now guys let me tell you some real time example of these component with the help of uh, uh, with the help of ibm cloud so in ibm cloud we have some example called text to speech speech to text so these are the part of ibm bluemix ibm cloud and they are having amazing thing as of now so guys as of now they are supporting only these languages but very soon they will support all the languages from india because from india they are getting very good business so now they are supporting this latin america korean japanese german everything <clears throat> so once you type something the machine can speak in that way like here if you want to check something with the help of arabic and once you speak you can see that the output is coming تقوم خدمة أي بي إم النص إلى خدمة الكلام بتحويل النص المكتوب إلى صوت قد تقوم خدمة أي بي إم النص let me explain to you see if any time you get a chance to traveling from dubai to india back so they will announce in two way two way means initially they will speak not two way they speak three way actually so one way means they are speaking in that country national language like they are talking about the arabic second one they will speak in the english same announcement number third if the flight is going to chennai or the flight is going to bangalore flight is going to hyderabad so accordingly they will speak in that language 
So means in the back end, nobody is there. So simply they will give the location from as well as the two and as for the location, automatically the announcement will come into that language. So this is what this is what the benefit we are getting with the help of these type of implementation. And that is what we are doing guys. So this is called text to speech. On the same way we have the speech to text. So means like here, we can take the example for database uh, from IBM Cloud and we can perform the operations here. IBM Cloud. So guys, now here you can see that we are having all these examples here. So now here you can see that they have some news. So if I even click on recording. Hello. Hi. What are you doing? IBM. So now here, whatever I'm speaking here, so machine can record automatically and this place store in this place. So this is this is what is happening here. So we have US, UK, Mexican, Japanese. So we have multiple languages in the plus. So only the thing is that we need to be check what actually we're trying to do and accordingly it will store the values automatically. Now, if you want, we can search something with the keyword as well. Like if you want to place something, this will be come back here automatically. So now here, if you're speaking by this way, you can see that this is a value of pretty low if you want something in that way. So the meaning is that whatever, whatever communication is coming, this will be recording here automatically. So all these things we can see with the help of IBM cloud option, IBM Bluemix options. So that is what we have something called the syntax tree operations. Next one, we have something called the chunking here. Chunking means how we can convert the sentence into some pieces of the code. So like here, we have something called, we got the black panther. So now we can categorize which is the noun, which is the pronoun, which is the adverb, which is the adjective. And accordingly, we will get the output into the place. So that is called the chunking we have. Next one, what are the real-time use cases of NLP? So guys, we do have a lot of examples for NLP use cases. You remember that, you know, like five years back, there were no market of the online media. So that time internet, what we are getting, that is the 2G internet, the price was very costly, then we got 3G, then again, the price is very costly. But now because of Geo, we are getting unlimited internet in the, in the very, very low price. So guys, the meaning is that nowadays everybody is talking about this application of NLP for the implementation. So number we have uh, the translation of the application. So we have Google Translator, that is a one example. Number two, we have the fact news prediction or fact news detection. So simply we have taken a database from the different sources, different media. When we put the algos, so accordingly I will get the information whether that news is correct or not. Then we will classify the email. So which email is the primary one, which is not the primary, what is their, uh, you know, the content on this. So this is what we can do. Printing the disease. What type of disease do you have? Guys, for the COVID-19, the government is saying that somebody having this type of symptoms means cough or uh, suppose some problem in the breathing. So the meaning is that probably they are saying that you are having this COVID-19 disease. But again, that is not true. Probably somebody, those who are having some other type of disease as well, they are getting the same types of symptoms. So guys, here we can make a very good model with the help of these techniques here. Then the error detection, IVR application, sentimental, and the personal voice assistant. So guys, we do have a lot of implementation for NLP with the help of predictive modeling in the, in the Python programming as well. So next one we have like, you know, how we can implement with the Python. So these are the, some list of the packages through which we can make some real time implementation. So this is actually required if you want to do some research on this or somebody who is, who are in the final year and if they want to develop any project, they can go by these options. So guys, we have NLTK packages, we are having SPCAY, we have text blob, GenSim pattern and all these types of packages available inside that. So the meaning is that Python is only the programming. R is only the programming. But over on that, we have to use the machine learning. Any type of learning, supervised, unsupervised, or reinforcement model. But final objective is that I should get some types of prediction of the value. So that is what your objective should be. So guys, you can take any type of database. You can take uh, image database. You can take the text database. You can take the numerical database. But make sure that whatever you are expecting, you will get the same thing here automatically. 
so guys let me show you one amazing example to you and this one is actually needed to you so we have very good example for printing modeling with the help of uh, this uh, nlp using python programming that is called tone analyzer so the meaning is that whenever you will get any mail from your hod whenever you will get any mail from your manager or whenever you get any tweet any review how you can do some analysis on this like suppose if you wanted to purchase a mobile from oneplus okay mm -hmm. so you cannot purchase anything blindly you have to do some review with the amazon flipkart and different websites so how here how we can do some analysis with the help of nlp so guys like here we have these options okay you can take any database not a problem of course that is free for you so like suppose sample we have this tweet so like here i will choose the tweet options when i click on analyze so now here in the whole database we are having these tone tone means we got analytics anger confident fear and tentative so if you talk about analytics so in this keyword we have uh, analytics like this this so what is the level of percentage if that is less than 50% so we are having this one 50 to 75 we have this and more than that we are having some in this color so let me go with the anger so guys you can see that the emojis as for the emojis the phone are stupid the phone is useless stupid waste of money so the meaning is that as for the emojis we are getting these output guys so easily you can analyze that which is good and which is not good for you so that is only they have for the tweet so if you want to search something i will recommend you that you can open the amazon dot in you can search any review just copy the review give it here in the online review and you can do some analysis like here we are having some review of it so when you click on analyze so again the machine will do some types of analysis for it in the whole sentence in this feedback we are having this review like the people they are talking about tentative so there is sadness sadness means where in this line they have the sadness same thing for confident as well as the analytics so guys the meaning is that the future is coming with the robot robot means not the physical robot i am talking about the process automation so whatever task you wanted to perform we are having a process for each and everything and as per the process machine can perform the operation for you so guys i think in the future human work is reduced up to 50% and the 50% work will be performed by the machine itself but again how machine is coming with the intelligence that is what given by the developer that is what our roles and responsibility to the machine i think you got my point guys so this is what the implementation part we are having for nlp as well as the predictive modeling so the same machine learning we have to use same modeling we use only database might be change and once you implement in this way you will get uh, you know good example for that so that is what that is what we are having for nlp and this session so guys any doubt any question any concern or anything which is not clear you can ask me the question i will help you to give you the uh, the answer of your question so please ask me the question if something is not clear or something is uh, you know if you want to explore more information please let me know so i will i will help you i am happy to help you so now this platform to you so please raise any question any doubt any concern so either you can speak or you can type in the chat box so i will i will help you okay uh, let me give you one more thing like suppose if you want to do some implementation of nlp with the python programming so guys i am having the amazing amazing thing to you let me let me share with you so you can do the practice uh, give me a moment let me let me show you the link to you yeah so guys uh, i am having this google collab link along with uh, you know some real time implementation of the project for nlp for predictive modeling so if you want to check let me show you what are things i am having here so google collab is a one type of repository from the cloud model so they are saying that normally for the machine learning we can implement with the help of local machine but only the problem is that for the deep learning because for the deep learning we should have the gpu inside the machine 
and if we don't have a gpu then how we can perform something so now here the google colab is providing the gpu to you so with the help of gpu we can perform the multiple operation for different types of images processing as well so guys this is what the link we having so i am sharing the link with you in the in the chat box so if you want you can check this one as well so now here i am collecting a database yeah i am taking a database so we are doing some pre processing of database with the help of these way or if you want you can take any database not a problem second one we are installing some packages so like as i told you that for nltk is the package for nlp operation so we can install via this way uh next one we are doing some processing for this like we can check the tokenize of the keyword like initially we are having single database so we are converting with the help of stopwise so we are having different types of tokenization then we have to check the length and finally performing the sentence here second one once i confirm for the center in the tokenization we are going with the tokenization for each keyword you can see that we are coming with this way then we are finding the frequencies of each keyword here and we can convert with the graph so easily we can identify that this word is coming how many times this is for how many times this is for how many times and finally with the help of these one we can make something called word cloud options so you can see that like this is the word cloud we are having so like which word is having a more frequency so here we can see that the pig is having a more frequencies house is having a more frequencies enough is having a more frequencies and this way guys we can perform the operations so like you know i have shared the link with you for a google docs that is google colab that is the amazing thing so once you're free and if you want to explore more you can go through it and really you will get more hands on knowledge for this but again before starting this nlp you should have a knowledge of machine learning at least the basic idea about linear regression multiple logistic decision tree random forest neural network pca so if you know all these basic algo you can perform the operation with the help of nlp because here the data will be changed here we are depending on the database from the text value okay so this is what the implementation part we are having for nlp model so yeah so that is what i have done guys so any question any doubt any concern from your side please let me know so i am i am happy to help you so no question any question any question guys anyone having any question okay so now i got a question that you know uh, like you, how to start with the help of machine learning and all okay so now here see i am saying that if you want to start see machine learning is not a big deal before the machine learning you should know the programming because machine learning is over on the programming so programming means either you can go with java programming you can go with the c++ you can go with the dot net you can go with the python you can go with the r programming or you can go with the matlab but here i will not recommend java or c++ because that is pretty tough i will recommend to go with r programming and python programming because we are having the enough package and we are having enough material on it so once you are comfortable in the python so guys total python programming having three layer layer 1 means we have the basic python layer 2 means we have the advanced python layer 3 we are having python for machine learning and layer 4 we are having python for the image processing so at least if you know 3 4 layer from these python one so you are enough comfortable for that and learning the python is not a big deal we are having python is one of the simplest programming in the world one of the simplest and one of the flexible programming so guys in the google we have w3schools.com and nowadays we have so many material in the youtube as well so you can go through it so it is coming with the easy installation then you can do the practice guys and based on that once you complete with the python then you can start with the machine learning in the machine learning don't go with the higher ones you can start with the simple linear regression and here i will tell you one thing don't go with the classifier because normally in the machine learning we have something called sklearn package simply we will import the classifier and here doing the operation 
so if you are the student this is not help you out because this is a team from four uh, mncs i know that what type of question they are asking to the participant if you come for the interview i will ask you the question can you tell me the linear regression from mathematics model like what is the gini index what is the sigma value what is the cost function what is the r square so i will ask you the formulas as well guys so here i recommend you that if whatever task you are doing you can go with the step by step from basic to advanced so that is what you have to do okay uh okay for the data set that is that is pretty simple see for the data set we have kaggle.com number 1 second we are having uci repository number 3 we are having you know data.gov.in if you want to take the indian government database or if you want to take some database from the government of uk you can go with data.gov.uk so you will get a lot of database from here this is the one thing second one is that if you want to perform any operation real time database so i will recommend that you can use some directory where you can retrieve the database so guys like you know 6 days back i supposed to purchase a android tv i am very confused which is good which is not good so what i did i use the package called beautiful soap from python that is the one package inside that so when i install this i have given the link of flickart amazon so what 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 are things i am looking out i am looking out the product name their configuration they are rating in the customer feedback so within a minute i got a information of 50 plus android tv into excel file later on i upload that excel file in python programming then i did some real time prediction and uh, real time analysis as well okay so this is what this is what the benefit we are having with the help of these way so guys i think this is help to you so any other question please let me know uh guys i think i am i am audible to you am i right okay so any any other question any other question please let me know so guys uh, now what i will do i am sharing my mail id with you so if you need any further information or any doubt you can write a mail to me so you know so i will help you in that case or uh, if you have any other question now you can just write me you can ask me right now so i will i will help you so i have mentioned my mail id in the chat box so if you need any further information or if you need any further help you can just write a mail to me i am happy to help you okay so i have done from my side so anyone from uh, shriram college anyone who wanted to you know speak anything just uh, that is for you i have done from my side shriram okay uh, so much manisha uh, for giving a great lecture uh, we gain okay participant we can uh, end the session right now we'll meet by tomorrow thank you thank you so much thank you so much everyone we safe thank you so much thank you thank you